Okay, so let us look at how do we represent the rational numbers on a number line. Now, if you remember how we used to represent fractions on a number line, it is similar to that. I mean, a rational number, for example, a fraction is a rational number. So let's say, let's begin with a very simple rational number uh, that is one half and we want to represent this number one by two on a number line. So what we do is very simple between the points zero and one on a rational um, on a number line we divide this distance in two equal parts. Now if you remember this one by two is a fraction and a fraction simply says parts of a whole. So when I say represent one by two it means represent one part out of two parts okay and in this case this midpoint that is shown over here this point over here represents the one part out of these two parts into which one has been divided and therefore the one by two this point here just shows one by two so this is how we represent one half or one by two on a number line now remember the one can be written as two by two essentially all we are saying is two parts out of two parts that is one part this unity here the distance from here to here between 0 to 1 is divided into two equal parts now you can extend the same logic for example if you were asked to represent 1 by 3 now again this is a very simple right you have to represent one part out of three parts so what would you do using the logic as I discussed earlier the distance from 0 to 1 on a number line you divide it into three equal parts okay so I have divided here and put these two points now when you begin to go from 0 to 1 and you come across these points so the first point here is one part out of three parts the second part is two parts out of three parts and where we have one is three parts out of three parts which is what I have shown over here so one can be represented as three by three so in our case if we want to locate one by three on the number line we will just look at this point highlight this point to say that this is one by three on the number line so far so good two simple examples what if we are given five by eight we can follow the same logic the only thing is it might be a little bit complicated so in this case we are given we have to represent five parts out of eight parts so what do you do all you do is the distance from zero to one you can see over here this is one this one is one we divide this into eight equal parts and that is what I have done so you can see as you go along these different parts so you, you come across 1 by 8 2 by 8 so this is 0 by 8 by the way so uh, 1 by 8 2 by 8 3 by 8 4 by 8 and 5 by 8 so we would highlight this point over here on the number line to say 5 by 8 and you could actually use any of these for example if you are given represent 10 by 8 okay this is a number which is in which the denominator is greater than the numerator in this case it's just bigger than one so you have to go all the way along and this point will be 10 by 8 now do remember the one that i've shown over here can be written as 8 by 8 so how do we generalize this observation of representing rational numbers on a number line okay so in general for a rational number given let's say a by b the numerator tells how many parts you have to mark on the number line and the denominator tells the number of parts into which unit is to be divided in this case one okay that's what so as again going back to our definition of rational numbers rational numbers exist between the numbers that we have already studied earlier like these numbers exist between zero one two or between any two consecutive whole numbers or integers on a number line right so when you are given a by b a rational number in the form of a by b you first what you do is you find out what is b and you divide 
a unit distance on the number line into B parts, which is what we did earlier. And then you locate A parts, just go that small steps and that will give you the location of A by B. Now, other interesting thing to notice, you could also have a negative rational number. So if the sign here, in this case, it is a positive sign, which I've shown over here, this one, if it is positive sign, then we traverse or we go towards the right hand side of the number line. And if we this sign is negative, then you travel on to the negative on the left hand side of the number line. So that is how you would represent number rational numbers on a number line.